Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I'm going to spend a little time talking to you about this whole process, this whole from there to now. A lot of you don't know, so I'll give you a little bit of history. In 2009, I had a friend who had an experience with purchasing a home. Uh, well, he helped somebody refinance their home. I had just paid to have his credit fixed, and the young lady whom we helped was a friend of my brother's. And my brother brought her to us and asked if we wanted to help her with her mortgage. She was a realtor. She was a realtor and a broker at the same time. And so I talked to my friend and I said I talked him into it I, because I basically said she has the money. She can make the monthly payments. And so we said, okay, but she only made four payments and then after that she didn't pay any more. Whew, Lord have mercy. 2008 hit, <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. And so I left my best friend with over $480,000 worth of bad credit. Lord have mercy. Okay. And she just left him out in the cold. So I had to figure out how to get him out of that. Now, I, again, already knew what I knew, but I didn't know this. I just told him I would make it go away. Now, you must understand, I have done that on several occasions, told people I will make it go away. And when I say, Lord, have mercy, I can only tell you that that's the confidence I have in myself. I, I, don't call me, don't email me, don't text me asking me to help make your junk go away because it don't work like that. This was my best friend. The other person was Francis. She told me about her situation. I told her I would make it go away. With the, now I don't tell them that, but it's always with the aid of the God that I serve, Jehovah. But it goes away. It takes a little time, but it goes away. And they don't have to worry about it no more. Well, I've shown you on video, if you go back how I paid off my mortgage without spending a dime, okay, those videos, I showed you how I got rid of that mortgage. Okay, completely off his credit. No more bad marks on his credit. That wasn't easy. Okay? But it was done. But it cost me my friendship. Even though he said there was no problem, there was a problem. And two years later was the last time I've ever spoke to him. My best friend. This is what this whole thing has cost me. Well, back then I, I went online. I was looking for something and I went online. And this was when YouTube was just starting to take off. And I clicked on a video. And this is when you only could do uh, 15 minutes was the the limit and so that's why you find a lot of videos back then are 10 to 15 minutes long and then it's like four different videos or seven different videos just to make one video well unless you had a creator's account like I ended up getting and you can do them for as long as you want but at first my videos were 15 minutes long and I had to break them up and part two part three but then it started out I went to someone's channel and they were explaining something. And so I did a video saying, oh, no, no, no. See, this is where he's getting that from. See, he didn't explain that this is the law that says this and that. So I'm explaining a lot of people. And then another person, they, they'll comment. And I got like in one week, I think it was over a thousand views. And then I'm getting like 10 or 12 comments from people who they're, some of them are thanking me, but then they're asking questions. So Instead of responding back to him because so many people were asking the same question, I just said, okay, I'll, I'll do a video. And so I did a video, put it up, and they saw it. And then, again, I didn't advertise. So then I'll do another video because now I have to explain the next point that I raised in that video. I have to explain in another video what, they, what, what I was talking about so that they understand where I got that from. And now i got to explain where I got what I got from and where they got that from and then explain. And it just kept going and growing and growing. 
So we went from just wanting to do one or two videos and going about my business to the fact that it became addictive. And ladies and gentlemen, over a thousand videos later, that's right, you heard me, over a thousand videos later. Now I know there are people out there that have 10,000 videos, 5,000 videos, I'm not trying to compete with them. But over a thousand videos later, uh, this channel is averaging 1.8 well, not 1.8, 108,000 views a month. Google will never reveal that. You look at Google, and Google says that I'm only averaging this many views and that many views. Well, what happens is it's not the new videos that everybody's watching. They're going back and watching the older videos. But as we say under each video, copy the videos, ladies and gentlemen because they're not going to allow this site to continue going. You guys have no idea what they just done. PayPal just shut down our PayPal account. And they're holding on to $66,000. $66,000 that SACOM is using to help get the assets to back up the next generation of SAPAC programs, including the child support program. We're not going to let that stop us. No, I'll take care of PayPal. I just This is just me letting you guys know that ever since we put out that video about being a genius and telling people about doing arbitrations and putting out that uh, equitable redemption coupon with the arbitration agreement attached to it, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you that was genius. Because if the companies want to argue, if they want to debate, if they want to say you owe, well, you just done three times the amount. Now you get to offset it. And if you follow the process with arbitration and the process, ladies and gentlemen, you will get your due in due course but it's a process it's not something that happens overnight and nobody promised you that this is a process if you want to make this into a lucrative business then you start helping people do their arbitration process look there needs to be a company out there that explains this stuff to people and helps people go through the process i don't have time for it ladies and gentlemen but some of, it, some of you out there already know these processes. Now, some of you are going to think you know. Ladies and gentlemen, and you, you'd be kidding yourself. Okay, there are some aspects of arbitration that you're going to have to study. But I've been doing video and video and video on it. And I would just go back and listen to all of those videos that I'm talking about arbitration because I'm showing you the laws. I'd go over the Arbitration Act. I'd go through those cases you saw me do on video and I'd go through those cases that are attached to it. I forgot the website that had the, the court opinion and then it lists where they got all of their references from. I go over those cases. I see what the court is saying and so that you'll know. For instance, let's do this because I wanted, this is why I'm doing this video because I want to show you guys this because I want to show you how ingenious this man is. Now, a lot of people won't be able to get me talking about myself that way. But let me make sure you understand because you won't get it. I don't know anybody else who thinks like me. I've been trying to find, I've looked so far and cannot see another individual who looks or even acts or even thinks like me. That is the thought behind, does everybody have a twin? Wait, 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 hold on. Y'all know I gotta do that. I'm having problems with my Microsoft Windows. See, that right there, that's gonna give me a problem because I don't like that. That's supposed to be pulling up by now. But I've got so many systems resources going that it ain't going to pull up. Hold on now. Let's go here. Now, yeah, I can I can just type in one word up here if it lets me. T-W-I. Uh-oh, that's not. Did I do it backwards? See, I do that. That's been happening. Nope. That's been happening lately. Because it's been, I've been up all day and I have not. I think I stepped away from in front of this computer at least once. This is does, uh oh, that's not what I'm looking for. I didn't want the laws you did not know about. I want does everybody have a twin? And I, see, that's how tired I am. I just looked at it and clicked on it because it's the first one that pulled up because I thought it would pull up. Uh, B E R Y B O D Y. Does everybody have a twin? There it is right there. I just saw it. Come on, working on it. It's working on it, y'all. 
and we're going to pull it up in PDF Exchange because I'll be able to show it to you better in PDF Exchange than if I was to pull it up in Word because right now I was trying to paste something in Word and that's what's happening. It's a lot of information. And so it's irritating that it ain't allowing me to paste. I need to paste, y'all. And it don't want me to paste. And I needs to paste. All right. Does everybody have a twin? We're going to pull this up in PDF Exchange. And then I will explain to you where I was coming from, how I got there, when I got there, why I got there, and why I took the trip there. This is, uh, we wrote this to PayPal. PayPal was uh, the games that they're playing. We wrote this to them in November, and so now I got to attach this document to our next response because PayPal plays games with people's accounts. And so this was us saying enough. But by the way, ladies and gentlemen, as I showed you in the previous video, PayPal and every other company out there has an arbitration agreement. They've been using this act. This has been our way out all this time, and we just simply didn't know. But Mr. Bradley Christopher Stark stumbled on it. Okay? He stumbled on it. And then it came to me. And if you could only understand how it got to me, you would understand that that is an impossibility. An improbability. It is not even anywhere near close to being a reality that it could possibly get to me the way it got to me. It just couldn't happen that way. But let's let's finish. We'll, we'll talk about this in a second. Let's go ahead because it's going to take some time to pull up because Word is giving me a problem. And because that's a Word document, it's going to give me a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we're pulling up an article from the Britannica.com. They are the ones who created the Encyclopedia Britannica. Okay. Now, I told you I don't read books because books are written by one author. But somebody who puts together an encyclopedia, they're putting their careers on the line. See... These are the article's contributors. They put their careers online. They will watch. Okay? They are letting you know that I am who I am, and I'm staking my life on this article. And so they tell you all the revisions. This article has been up here since 1998. Why? Because the truth does not change. The facts do not change. Only time changes. But reality never changes so let's find out the reality ladies and gentlemen what the f is a trust now oh by the way for some of you when i do that if you think that i'm even attempting the curse no i've been doing that all my life if it bothers you get over it if it disturbs you move past it if you can't handle it go and look in that mirror and deal with it because that's where your problem is your problem isn't with me your problem is your narrow view of things. Life is all about perception. I don't have time to curse. So if it seems like that's what I'm pretending to do, that's not what I'm pretending to do. That's me playing with your mentality. So if it bothers you, that shows the your lack of ability to grasp things from a standpoint other than your own. That means that you are very limited in your mindedness. Now, it doesn't, what I'm not trying to say is accept my view, that my view is stronger and better and more powerful than yours. Oh, God, no, I'm not saying that. Wait, yeah, because you see it said Microsoft Word is my problem. Okay, and I don't want to restart it because that's a whole new ball of Ajax. You know what I'm saying? Um, trust law. Let's find out what's going on with this trust law thing, because we've been talking about trust a lot, ain't we? But pay attention. In Anglo-American law, a relationship between persons in which one has the power to manage property and the other has the privilege, usufruct, of receiving the benefits from that property. There is no precise equivalent to the trust and civil law system. That's right, because trust and civil law do not go together. What are you talking about? Well, trust or equity. Trust or contracts, people. Remember, it is an agreement between two people, a relationship betwixt. Okay? It's an agreement. It's a trust. Now, hold on. P 
pay attention. It says there is no equivalent to the trust in civil law system. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why is because trust is equity. And the 11th Amendment says that the judicial power shall not be construed to extend to suits in law and equity. The judicial power does not recognize equity and can't recognize equity. That's why the judicial power doesn't recognize the live person. Property law. Trust. Anglo-American law recognizes another possible division of ownership. That between the power to manage property and the privilege of receiving the benefits from it. This division is known as a trust. It is of great practical importance in Anglo-American law. The trust devices, a device is used in, and now it's going to tell us about trust. Let's find out a little bit about trust. You're going to, I promise you, you're going to learn something, people. Those of you who think you already know, you're a liar. You, you've been lying to yourself, so stop lying to yourself. A brief treatment of trust follows. For full treatment, see property law trust. We're not going to go there, but I'm going to suggest you go there. If you want to understand this whole arbitration thing and how to create a trust agreement, that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is new. That boy is a genius. That's that video right there. The trust is of great practical importance in Anglo-American legal system. Anglo-American, British and America. It's called the Anglo-American dual world power. Yes, America is not the so-called greatest nation. They don't rule without Britain. That's why it's Anglo-American. Those of you who didn't know that, and I'm sorry if you think that the United States is the so-called greatest nation in the world and they have the greatest legal system. Their legal system and their nation and their nation's power is combined with Britain. The United States never goes to war without Britain. Go back and take a look. Tony Blair, 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 remember that person, people? Tony Blair, remember him? Okay, we're going to restart Microsoft Word because it ain't going to let me open that document. But I want to show y'all everybody got a twin because that's my, my one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Verrats. Favorite Brits. Anyway, let's continue, okay? Now, remember, this trust is consciously created. See, the trust that is consciously created is called an express trust. Meaning that it's consciously created. What? Consciously created? How can you consciously create a trust in the mind, people? Consciously created in the mind. It's usually called an express trust. And they are used in a wide variety of contexts, most notably in family settlements and charitable gifts. But we don't care about that part. We want to know where express trusts are used. Courts may also impose trust on people who have not consciously created them in order to remedy a legal wrong called constructive trust. So are you telling me? that the courts will create an express trust to people who have not created their own trust and they'll give it another name called a constructive trust but a constructive trust and express trust are the same thing because they're both consciously created see it says consciously created trust is usually called an express trust and the trust may be imposed upon a person who has not consciously created a trust so SACOM ladies and gentlemen is going to be creating what's known as a grantor's private and secret trust agreement for its SATPAC members so that they will have their consciously created trust that will supersede the courts consciously created trust or constructive trust every court case is a constructive trust you don't believe me let me prove it to you this ain't my document people this has been up here since 1998 fundamental to notion of trust is the division of ownership between legal statutory and equitable non-statutory none of these are lawful but they're both legal this division had its origins in separate English courts in the late medieval period. Again, neither one are common law. But I heard of a common law trust. It's not the same thing. Oh, the courts of common law recognize and enforce the legal ownership, while courts of equity, chancery, recognize and enforce the equitable ownership. Ladies and gentlemen, statutory courts, these are not the common law courts of the real common law this is the common law courts that were created by the English system okay there are two different common laws one is the original common law and the other one is the English common law 
which is the common law of the Constitution they claim is referring to because they're saying it borrowed the English common law. But if you look at the Constitution, it did not borrow the English common law. It took its traits, because the American people wouldn't accept it otherwise, from the original common law. Shh, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. It ain't allowing me to open that document up, y'all. It's saying, no, 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 nay, 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 nay. Uh, John Pietti, or whatever his last name was, the comedian, I, I liked his uh, nay, nay joke. I thought that was all right. I'm sorry that young man has passed away. He, he was he told some pretty good jokes, every people. And I, I was going to say everybody, but I said every people. See, that's what I do. I just make stuff up as I go along because I can go and along is where I do it. All right. Now, let's get back to ownership. The conceptual division of two types of ownership, however, survives the merger of the law and uh, excuse me, of the law and equity courts that occurred in the 19th and 20th century. Pay attention. The 11th Amendment, the judicial power of the United States shall not be construed to extend to courts or suits in law and equity. Pay attention. Judicial power does not exist in their law and equity courts. Why? because the Constitution's common law, the so-called Bill of Rights, don't apply here. They are not cognizable. Okay, thus today, legal and equitable interests are usually enforced by the same courts, but they remain conceptually distinct. Yes, by the same court, because it's the same division of courts, but not common common law. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why you will see the court in the Chess versus Burke case dealing with the equitable right of redemption spoke about statutory rights, which was your legal right to the property and your equitable rights, which was your equitable right of redemption. One is before equitable right to redemption foreclosure and the other after foreclosure the statutory right of redemptions one legal one equitable that's what's going on now look many of you think that you can understand law and you want to understand law and then many of you think you understand law and you don't understand law because you think that because you've read some book or something that gives you an understanding of law and that tells you where things are going and you're wrong sorry it's just that now look the basic distinction between legal and equitable ownership is quite simple. The legal owner of the property is the trustee, has the right to possession. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, did you see that? The legal owner of the property is the trustee, and he has the legal right to possession. The privilege of use and the power to convey those rights and privileges. You are the trustee. That's where you get people saying that. The trustee thus looks like the owner of the property to all of the world except one person, the beneficial owner. As between the trustee and the beneficiary, the beneficiary receives all the benefits of the property. The trustee has the fiduciary duty, the beneficial owner, uh, excuse me, fiduciary duty to the beneficial owner to exercise his legal rights, privileges, and powers in such a way as to benefit not himself but the beneficiary. If the trustee fails to do this, the courts will require him to account to the beneficiary and may, in extreme cases, remove him as legal owner and substitute another in his stead. Isn't that what you see going on in foreclosures? So let's put a stop to this, ladies and gentlemen, through arbitration. Let's do the changing of legal ownership by selling the equitable rights because you have the right to the equity in the property. Let's transfer the equitable rights. We put the equitable document up there for you, assignment of equitable interests. So let's get rid of that problem. I didn't say this. This is the Encyclopedia Britannica. I've never read this part before. The top part I read earlier today, but I never read this part before, but I said I was going to do this video this morning when I first turned here. And it's just been a long day and I've been working on a bunch of other things, but I told you, and then in a moment I'll tell you exactly why I'm showing you this. The division between legal and beneficial ownership are normally created by an express instrument of trust, usually a deed of trust or a will. 
the maker, the settler, or grantor, or trustor of the trust will convey property to the trustee, who may be an individual or corporation, such as a bank or a trust company. So they become the trustee, the settlor becomes the settlor, and instruct the trustee to hold or manage the property for the benefit of one or more beneficiaries of the trust. Okay, but it says the court can remove the trustee. Why can't you? Because usually the trucks are irrevocable. Ah, so why don't you restate the trust? What, you didn't know you could do that? You could restate it? Yes, why don't you restate the trust and include an arbitration clause? Now you don't have to go to the court to remove the trustee. Hello? I'm just saying, okay? This is how my mind thinks. Does yours think this way? Well, yeah, but I'm not shut up! Because if you thought this way, you'd be doing it. I don't want to hear it. Sorry, that's just the way I am. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing this for a while. The video's fine. Been doing it since 2010. Okay, fine. Only eight years. But you gotta go back eight years and see that everybody who was doing videos eight years ago are not doing them now. They're gone. There are only a few of us that are still around. Since 2010? Go and take a look. And see who's still around doing videos. Ladies and gentlemen, every single one of them took advantage of you. Now, oh, wait, wait, hold on, let me correct this. And I really do have to correct that. Please understand, according to the courts, according to the IRS, every single one of them took advantage of you. They took your money, they didn't pay taxes, and all of that. First of all, pay attention. SACOM just filed its taxes for the year we were late because our original tax agent that we got didn't file the taxes, but told us that he did. So we had to file them late. So we went and found ourselves another tax agent who is not only trustworthy, but he showed us everything every step of the way and sent us a copy of the receipt because he didn't do it electronically. He sent it in by mail and then sent us a copy of the receipt with the tracking number, letting us know that he sent it in. He's a keeper. But we just filed the taxes for SACOM and SITCOM for 2016 and 2017. Not so much 2016 as the organization didn't take in anything in 2016 because we started at the end of the year of 2016, but 2017. 2018 will be filed within the next couple of weeks. Okay, we pay our taxes as an organization at SACOM. I, on the other hand, I don't have an income, people. Go ahead and take a look. There's no uh, subscribe, 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 donate, donate, donate. There's none of that. SACOM doesn't pay me. Well, SACOM, sorry. SACOM does give me grant monies for the work that I do for them. Such as, and it's not every day, it's not every hour. It's the work that I do. If I work on a website, I get some. You work on a website and you get paid for that junk? <sighs> the website is being redesigned as we speak. That's why you guys have been seeing so many problems. It's because... We're transitioning, so I do apologize to you for that. But getting to this so that you understand, all the people who were here before me are either in jail or they've walked away or they've been threatened so much or they are no longer here. They're dead. Take a look. All of them. Uh, we got Mr. Devine. Uh, now, Mr. Miller came after me. David Wayne uh, Wynn Miller, he came after me. He, I was doing videos before him, so he came after me, but he's gone. Okay, I'm very upset because even Tim Turner started doing videos after me, but Tim Turner not around anymore, and I'm very upset about that because I I like Tim Turner. I didn't. <laughs> Tim Turner was all right. He had his own personality, and I I like that about Tim Turner. Um, then you got the now the person who was around before me was Mr. Jones, Sam. Or was it Sam Davis? Sam Jones, Sam Davis. I, I can't get his name right these days because it's been a while since I watched his videos, but I talked about him a couple of weeks ago, and I keep mixing up his name with Davis and Jones, so I'm not sure. But you guys know who I'm talking about, those of you who've been around. Okay, he started before me, but he stopped. And so not too happy about that. Then we got Winston. They put Winston through a lot, ladies and gentlemen, and are still trying to put Winston through a lot. Winston knowledgeable person knows what he's doing knows what he's talking about but some people will say he doesn't those people only because they didn't get the satisfaction we have people who are coming over to SACOM doing the SAPACs because they think that's going to free them 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're not trying to free you. We're trying to help you gain control of what's yours. We're trying to create a security instrument for you. And now we're going to help you bring that together and place everything within a trust. I just need you guys to be patient because none of this was designed to happen overnight. That's why there are no promises at SACOM. The only thing we can promise you is we'll take care of the things that we promise you to take care of, but nothing more than that. People are thinking again that SACOM is going to free them, help them get out of jail. SACOM, that's not what SACOM does. But people are emailing, talking about how to fill out this document and how to fill out that document. That ain't SACOM's job. SACOM is not there to help you fill out documents. Ladies and gentlemen, another organization will be created by somebody to do that, but that's not us. We don't have that type of time. We don't have that type of personnel, and you couldn't afford to pay us for the hours it will take to go over your documents. Okay, you're going to have to do some of the work yourself. Oh, by the way, the beat in the background is Rock the Boat. And I'm very disturbed by Rock the Boat. I did not know that that young lady was talking about rocking boats and stroking things for her. And man, okay, I, I'd never paid attention to the words. But when I listened to the words, I'm like, you. Anyway, whew. Lord have mercy. So I'm glad that that's in the background. Just the beat, not the words, because the words are disturbing once you listen to it and you realize that was supposed to be a Christian woman. Just kidding. Just kidding. But I like Aaliyah a lot. Aaliyah, she did several songs. I didn't like all of her music. I, I admit that, but she did several songs that, hey, nobody could have done them better. Just, that's just, it's just a fact. Aaliyah did several songs that no one could have done better than what she did It's just that's just the fact just like Whitney Whitney Houston no matter what anybody says about that young lady did several songs that I will always love you look That will always be a classic everybody and their grandmama will be singing that song for years to come Michael Jackson uh, in his own right Nobody will be able to master or do anything that that young man did. There'll be nobody else because before there was payola, Michael Jackson was being played everywhere. And he was the person to beat every single year. When he put out an album, everybody was competing against Michael. He put out a video, everybody was competing against Michael. Nobody will be able to do that before. All right, let's go back to trust. Sorry about that. Sometimes I digress. Now, again... Let's go while a trust is, an, is normally created by an expressed instrument of trust. The courts will sometimes imply a trust between people who have not gone through the formal steps. So the courts will imply a trust. Now, how does the court imply a trust? A simple example would be the situation in which a member of a family advances money to another and asks the second member to hold the money or to invest it for him. A more complicated example is an implied trust now this is what the courts do would be the situation in which one party provides money to another for the purchase of property ladies and gentlemen what the government does you heard the Minnesota Minnesota New Hampshire courts talk about the public the corporate government offer to contract Okay, the government is providing property to you. They give you a license. They give you a certificate. These are properties, people. Okay, New Hampshire House Bill 1778. It's the right to travel law in New Hampshire. You just have to read the statement and purpose. Every state government does this, ladies and gentlemen. They provide you... You give them money, they give you property, a license, a certificate. You fill out an application, they give you a privilege. Unless such provisions was explicitly made as a gift or as a natural, or natural expression of a close relationship, i.e. parent-child, the acquired property is held in trust. Remember, the license doesn't belong to you. The dollar bills don't belong to you. They belong to another. For the person who provided the money, even though the second party holds the legal title. This type of trust is frequently called a resulting trust. Yes, it's a resulting trust because it is 
is a trust as a result of your actions and because of your actions you show that you have engaged in that agreement finally the courts will sometimes impose a trust relationship upon parties where there is no evidence that such a relationship was intended the courts will sometimes impose a trust relationship upon parties where there's no evidence that a trust was ever intended excuse me for example when one party obtains property from another by making fraudulent representations the defrauding party is frequently required to hold the property in trust for the defrauded party this type of trust is called a constructive trust ladies and gentlemen when they claim that you violated a law or broke a law aren't you considered as making a fraudulent representation or defrauding someone so do you not get to hold probation property I'm just suggesting not saying that this is the case I'm just asking questions ladies and gentlemen what SATCOM is going to be creating for its SATCOM members or SATPAC members is a private express trust and these are probably most common form of trust they are traditionally means for financial security of families no we're going to do it for financial security of our members by will or by deed of trust we're not doing by will or deed we're just doing a private express trust a PET that's what we're doing the trust the testator or settlor or trustor places the property in trust to provide for their members themselves and oh by the way there is nothing in law that says a corporation can't be a trust store corporations do trust all the time oops so we're gonna let the estate be the trust store and the estate is gonna hold the property for you but it's gonna do so through the trustee oops now can I be real with you all let's close this because we'll We'll get to all of this at another date, but let's go ahead and let's be real and let's keep it real. You're going to keep it real? I'm going to keep it real, ladies and gentlemen, because ain't nobody else going to keep it realer than the realists, and I'm going to keep it real. Ladies and gentlemen, I know a little bit about trust. But when I first found out about trust, I was about maybe eight years old. I heard about it at the Kingdom Hall because they were going over trust agreements because it's from Scripture. And so we were actually going over that as a congregation throughout the world. All Jehovah's Witnesses were going over trust. Then again, we went over trust again. I remember this right about when I turned 15, 16 years old. They went over trust, but I didn't understand the trust. I didn't. But I knew about it. So then what happened? 2012 I started hearing about trust again and I basically understood the trust that there had to be somebody who originally had the authority over the property and then there had to be a trustee whom the person who had control over the property gave the right to manage the property and then there had to be a beneficiary somebody who benefited from that arrangement well ladies and gentlemen that was like I said Jehovah creating mankind Jesus being the beneficiary because they are all supposed to every knee shall bow and openly express blah 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 okay so he benefited from that and then the trustees to take care of the earth who were supposed to serve and worship they were the trustees they had the responsibility of duties so I understood a trust relationship that was easy but how were they doing it? I couldn't grasp it because it didn't make any sense. I was like you in 2012. I understood a little bit, but I didn't get it. But no, 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 hold on. You guys don't understand. This morning, I woke up and I was very, very stressed out because I'm like, wait a minute. We're doing these sap packs for people and they really can't see the benefit of what we've done for them. And it was driving me literally crazy. I was about to have a panic attack because I didn't want anybody to think that I'm trying to get over on them. And so what what else can we do for them right now before we pay out the sap packs? Because we have to let them mature. We already have the revenue. We already have the assets secured. Nobody can touch that. We already have that. But we haven't um what do you call it we haven't liquidated it and that's what the little innocent 
video talks about is the liquidity. We haven't liquidated it yet, but we made it to where even if we can't liquidate it the way we want to, we transfer the assets to the SAPAC members so they still have the value. That's what we did. People, if you only understood the amount of far-sighted thinking, if one thing doesn't work, we have another thing in its place to help you. We were getting ready to buy more assets when PayPal froze those accounts. But see, the problem is we didn't keep all the funds in one account. We had more than one account. That's why it's not going to slow us down. We'll take care of PayPal in its own due time. The money is not gone. They're going to have to return it, but they want to do six months. Okay, fine. But you're not going to hold on to the money and collect interest on it and think that you're not going to reimburse us because you're making profit and you're supposed to be a nonprofit organization but you're making a profit off of our stuff that ain't gonna happen because I'm not gonna allow it ladies and gentlemen I won't allow you or anybody else to hurt this organization known as SACOM SACOM is its own person and I treat SACOM as if it is alive it is alive okay I treat SACOM as if it is a living being a person and I won't allow anybody to hurt her including me that's why it bothered me so greatly that anybody was thinking that they weren't getting the value. Even though we've done several videos explaining to people the value and what they've gotten so far and how if they went and tried to go and pay for these things other places, that they wouldn't have gotten that. So what I said is, okay, fine. The one thing that we haven't done for people, we need to do. I just hadn't figured out exactly how to go about doing it. So we said we we're going to incorporate you all into our trust. Well, technically we've done that, but we haven't put you in your own trust to protect you so ladies and gentlemen duh that's what we're doing now we're creating your own trust to protect you and your assets anybody want to come after you or your assets you say give them the trust information say I'm sorry there's a private trust and you can not access this and you don't have any jurisdiction over this trust and you don't go in as beneficiary oh god no Lord have mercy. You may be a beneficiary of the trust, but you don't go in as beneficiary. You can name yourself as beneficiary and trustee. You can name yourself as beneficiary and grantor, but you don't go in as just beneficiary. People say, well, you can't be the beneficiary and uh, the trustee at the same time. Well, yes, you can, because you can have power of attorney over the grantor. The grantor is the estate. Isn't that what your POA does? Doesn't, isn't that what the IRS 2848 allows you to do? See, don't play with me, stupid system. Because you may have created it, but just like you did the Arbitration Act, I'm going to take your junk and I'm going to use it to my best ability. So this is what we're going to be doing. This is what we're going to be explaining to everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, I didn't know about a lot of the details of all of this. I may have known something about it, but I didn't know about the details. What I can tell you for a fact is I asked my God, because he was the one I pray to. He's the one I talk to. He's the one who helps me to understand this stuff. But once I understand it, I understand it. It's like yesterday I didn't know it, but today, like the back of my hand, sit up here and argue with me and see if I can't prove it. That's why I can take you to the website and show you the information and it say exactly what I'm saying it's supposed to say. Because again, and these are from people who've already done the research. Now, this information has been around for a while, but as I told you, I've never studied it, studied it. Just like the Arbitration Act, I knew about arbitrations. Like I told you guys, kings did arbitrations all the time. Because I study scripture and because I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses, these are words and things that have come up over the years. So I've known about these things, but I didn't know about these things. So I spent the last year, actually year, I would have said nine months, but it's a full year going over arbitration, going over contracts, making sure that the contracts we put online and who else would do this for you all? Who else would take and put the contracts online for you? The only thing you have to do is fill in the blank. You should understand, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to take advantage of you. I'm not going to put a contract out there that's going to leave you vulnerable. But again, the contract applies to both parties you and the opposing party so you have an obligation they have an obligation so go over the contract to understand your obligation don't go over the case law the case law is their junk that's not for you the case law is for you to say prove this ain't true you don't need to understand all of the case law but please understand i'm not going to put anything in there that i know is junk that is uh what do you call it nonsensical as they try to say 
but I'm going to put what's in there that's necessary. Okay, the ingenious part was this morning creating a trust and putting an arbitration agreement inside a trust. That takes it completely out of every court's hands, including the courts of equity. They don't have any jurisdiction over it, and the regular courts don't have any jurisdiction. See, that's been the problem. They have been assuming jurisdiction. The Supreme Court just took that away from them. Arbitration belongs in arbitration. Arbitration is a private process. Please get it, people. You've been wanting a private process some way out away from the courts, and we've been talking about it. You've been hearing me talk about it for years, talking about getting away from the courts. I've been asking everybody, everybody who's been trying to join up with me and saying they want to collaborate and confab and all that other bulls, telling them I need to know how to get this out of the court, how to avoid going to court in the first place. Arbitration. Some of you are just going to need to get it, that it is ingenious. Don't give it all credit to me. This is my God. He is the one who brought this my way. No, I don't hear voices, people. I call it just that, an understanding. I didn't understand it yesterday, but I understand it fully today. Let somebody else demonstrate that better than what I have. Go ahead and listen to the video earlier and notice what I came up with about taking the arbitration award and because it's filed as a civil lawsuit <laughs> asking for a jury trial. Well, then, if it's just a confirmation, then you need to stop making these other decisions. You converted the other one to a habeas corpus. Well, if you're going to convert that to a habeas corpus, you're going to take this motion right here for an arbitration award, and you're going to recognize it for what it is, a common lawsuit. I'm not playing games with y'all no more. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there was ingenious, because now... Even if it takes six months, even if it takes a year, whatever, you don't re you don't need to redo the, the arbitration award because you're going before a jury to get the arbitration award confirmed. And you can go for arbitration award and enforcement of contract at the exact same time. Okay, but if the contract is a trust, and literally if you point out that the contract is a trust, because it is a trust relationship, and all you have to do is add the phrase special relationship with you and the trustee in your contract, okay, that's in the uh, assignment it's in there special relationship is in the assignment contract and the incarceration contract you can prove the special relationship um, because it says special agreement in the document just highlight the word special okay but you can add this creates a special relationship <laughs> that's all you have to do and it becomes an express trust or a pure trust but either way a trust the courts have no jurisdiction it's equity that hears that but if you pay attention ladies and gentlemen if you add an arbitration clause into the trust nobody's done that before go ahead and take a look if anybody's ever added an arbitration clause into a trust that's what I was given as an understanding this morning this is what I'm trying to tell you all some of you can believe it I don't care some of you won't believe it I do not care it's IDC. I don't care. Because since 2010, nobody has proven me wrong on anything that I've said on video. People have tried, but nobody has proven me wrong. Go back and look. Why do you think people keep coming back? Unlike those other people who advertise, 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 put up these little fancy titles to make everybody want to watch. You must see this before it gets deleted. You don't see me doing any antics like that. Why? Ladies and gentlemen, because it works out one way and one way only. I'm only putting information out there for the people who need it. And it's that fill the dreams doctrine. If you build it, they will come. All I do is talk on video. The people who the information is supposed to get to, they'll hear it. The people who it's not supposed to get to I don't want them here that's what all the antics is for I'm hoping that they go away and some people are gonna say but you're driving them. no I'm not driving anybody away the ones who are not supposed to be here don't belong here the ones who are supposed to be here like I keep saying the ones who the information is meant for they're gonna get it and they're gonna run with this see I've taken this as far as we can go people yes I'm gonna come up with other tactics and other means I'm gonna fine-tune it 
but I told you, if this wasn't the right way, you heard me say that if this wasn't the right way, then everything I told you is all for nothing, because I put it on everything I've ever known. As far as the law is concerned, that this is our way out. Okay, I put that on everything that I've ever known, as far as the law is concerned, that this is our way out. You just have to see it. You just have to seize it. Ladies and gentlemen, I would love to continue to talk about this, but this, it won't do you any good. You're just going to have to trust that you have to get rid of all of that junk that you thought you knew. All of that previous information, all of that stuff, they're doing this, they're doing that. That's all bull because they did that to you on purpose so that you can be distracted. You have to clear your mind of all of that and you have to start and you have to look at the Arbitration Act from the beginning. Then you have to read that Supreme Court case of January 8th, 2019 that I keep referring to. And you will fully understand that arbitration takes it completely out of the hands of the court. That's why you want to arbitrate. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at 51 minutes and uh, several seconds. I'm going to go ahead and end this now. I want to thank you for allowing me to take the time to explain to you a trust, why arbitration works, and how all of this got started and how we got here in the first place. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good life. Everyone, have a good night. Goodbye.